Hi everyone, Professor Monty here. Let's talk about combinations now. So combinations and CR or N choose R sometimes we say, the possible number of combinations of N items, if we select R of them, when ordered does not matter, is N choose R is N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial. Now again, I have a video on permutations. I also have a video on factorials. You may want to watch one or both of those. The key to combinations though is order does not matter. So order does not matter. So if order doesn't matter, we're going to use this formula. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Suppose we have four people to pick from. We want to choose two to be on a team. And so the order here doesn't matter because whether you pick one person first or second, they're both on the same team. So if I have A, B, C, and D, as much for people to choose from. I can pick A and B. Now notice I'm not going to list B and A. That would be the exact same team. So that's what we're saying. A and B and B and A. Order doesn't matter. They're both the same team. So I only list it once. So A can be with B. A can be with C or A can be with D. B can be with C or B can be with D. And then C can be with D. So there's only a possible of six different combinations. Well, formula-wise, here's how we figure that out. If I do four choose two, by formula, it's going to be four factorial on the top. The bottom, four minus two factorial times two factorial. Okay, that's the formula we just did. But notice on top, I've got four factorial Let's call that four times three times two factorial. Again, I explained that in my factorial video. The bottom, this four minus two is two factorial. This, we'll just cancel it with that two factorial. This two factorial, let's write it out. It's two times one. Well, now I've just got on top four times three. On the bottom, two times one. If I want to, I can say, oh, two goes in here twice. Now all I have on top is two times three is six. On the bottom is one. So this is just six over one. It's just six. Oh, there's six combinations of teams I can make. Oh yeah, here was the six combinations. Order doesn't matter. We use the combination formula. Okay, hope that helps out. Remember, if order matters, you use a permutation. If order does not matter, you use a combination. Okay, best of luck to you.